What's up, guys? Welcome to the Big John Sports Show, where we recap the weekly events that's happened in McGoffin County. And looks like it's technically basketball season now in McGoffin County. And, you know, we talk about Kentucky sports and sports around McGoffin County that's going on or has happened or going to happen. Uh, that's where we going to start at. Uh, is basketball season's officially started with the loss of McGoffin County versus Bell County, which uh, it was for the, let's see, let me get exactly what it was. Let's see, it was the Class 3A 2023 UK Healthcare Sports Medicine State Football Finals. And uh, Bell County beat McGoffin County. And uh, listen, I was going to go to that game and take pictures and videos and stuff. But uh, it was, turns out it was a three-hour, almost four-hour drive or something to Bell County. And I didn't make it. Uh, with that being said, if uh, you have a sporting event and you want me to come live stream it, I can try my best to do it if it's home. I do know I'm planning to do a lot of middle school uh, basketball games once they start having games at home. which I think they're only... Their first home games in December. Anyway, uh, Bell County beat McGoffin County 27 to 62, which is just that's a lot of points, 62 points, uh, especially coming off a big win against Morgan County, McGoffin 47 to zero, and we go down there and get beat 27 to 62. Which uh, when I tuned in, it was live streamed by uh, 106 point seven or something like that and i watched it for a little bit and uh, man the, the, that bell county team was just insane but uh McGoffin county ends the season four and seven and their district we was two you know we was two and two so not too bad uh looking forward to the next couple seasons i, I really look forward to McGoffin county football in uh at least two more years we're, we should be really, really good, I think. Uh, not, not taking away from the guys that's there right now at all. Uh, I just don't know enough about them. And I've just had the pleasure of watching Aiden Barnett and Ian McCarty run the ball. That's been great. And, of course, uh, those guys are going to be missed. I think they're both seniors. So, yeah. But uh, this core group that in middle school going up and when they get about juniors. So we got about two years, I think, two or three. And we should have some – good football games in McGoffin County. Anyway, uh, if you guys watched Kentucky football last night, we actually ended up beating Mississippi State at Starksville. The first time we've beat them since 2008, which was nice. It was 27-3, to 3, I think. That was a great game to watch. Uh, we ran the ball well. We played actually played good defense. We kept them from – we only made them score three points, which is insane. Uh, so – Kentucky getting the big W on the weekend here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you want me to come live stream for my golf news, uh, the sporting events, I'll be glad to. I'm going to try my best to do basketball here and there. Uh, if you got some offhanded sport that I don't really know of, I know uh, the archery and stuff's pretty pretty competitive here in McGough County now. I, I don't know what's really, I don't know much about archery though, to be honest with you. Uh, and another thing I want to, before we end the show, is we actually have a state record holder now. Uh, if you guys been on the website, uh Big Bad Cajun Williams, and he runs, or he works at the East uh, Kentucky Physical Therapy, with the weight room here in McGoffin County. And he is the 19-year-old, 18, 19-year-old Kentucky state record holder in weightlifting now. And he broke uh, crazy records for a 19 year old it, like it's insane i don't know if you guys have ever tried the deadlift like 450 pounds but it's not easy um uh, i i almost got it not too long ago but my back it just it, it doesn't it doesn't allow me to do a lot in my hand i don't know if you guys have ever seen this hand there's there's your scar from playing football let's see yeah, right there it's uh that's old dandy scar from playing football for old mcgoffin county back in back in the day back in my golden days i guess <laughs> But uh, I look forward to Kentucky fo or McGough County football coming up, and uh, and from what I hear, Aiden Barnett's just as good at basketball, if not better. Uh, so I definitely want to tune in, uh, go catch him in action here on, on the on Mike Off and News. Maybe we'll get the live stream set up and 
stream it for you guys on Facebook. I do need a better lens. I will say uh, my my lens is not really meant for sports. It can do it. Like you guys seen the quality that this camera does. It does great quality. But the lens, it's not really meant for sports or really far away action. And so I'm trying to save up enough to get a nice lens to do that. And uh, of course, I have all the other equipment. I got all this stuff set up right here on this laptop and be glad to live stream it and commentate. It'd be, it'd be fun to do. Uh, but uh, if you guys are looking to advertise with us, it's McGoffinNews at gmail.com. You can message us on the Facebook page. Uh, we got our business page set up on Google now. Everything's everything's growing. Uh, but uh, uh, we had to cancel the <coughs> market show today because I just felt so bad at 2 o'clock. I really didn't even want to do this, but I was like, hey, you know, I got to get on here and record something. So... That's the sports recap of this week. Uh, big shout out to Cajun Williams. That, that dude's a monster, and uh, I look forward to sports here in McGoffin County. We got a lot going on. We got great talent, and that's what we're here to do at McGoffin County or McGoffin News Network is uh, promote the cool people in McGoffin County. Everybody asks me what why I'm doing this, and I'm just like, you know, I just think McGoffin County has some cool people in it. Just nobody knows. Nobody knows uh, all this cool stuffs going around. Uh, going on down here in a little old eastern Kentucky town. But uh, some of the coolest people, the best people I've ever met is here right in McAuliffe County. And strongest people, like I said, the strongest people I've ever seen in my life has come out of that gym, seems like. Uh, and so you guys know Pitt Collin. He, guys, he's just an animal, and he breaks records all the time here in east Kentucky too. So he's one train Cajun, if that tells you anything. So great, great talent here in McAuliffe County. Uh, man. I look forward to basketball season this season. I do look forward to basketball, Kentucky basketball. And Kentucky football takes on Alabama this coming weekend. So we'll see what goes on there. <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat old uh, Alabama. But at least it's home. I wish I would have got tickets. But uh, I think that'll do it for uh, the Big John's sports show this weekend. I uh, hope you enjoyed the sports recap. Be sure to follow me on Facebook. Follow on the Facebook page. This also goes up on YouTube. McGoffin News. We'll see you guys next time.